Now, Target 12 is learning new details in the shocking case of a fugitive whose body was unearthed in the backyard of a home in North Dartmouth. Pennsylvania authorities are now speaking out, claiming charges could still be possible in this case. The small town of Saxonburg, which is right outside of Pittsburgh, was rocked in 1980 after its police chief was gunned down during a routine traffic stop. Investigators say it was at the hands of New England mob associate Donald Eugene Webb. Target 12 investigator Tim White has been tracking all the major developments in this wild case. He's here now with what he's learned. At a press conference in Pennsylvania, authorities confirmed what we reported last week that Lillian Webb was given immunity from state prosecution, but they say that deal does not stretch into potential federal charges. In 1980, when investigators discovered the car Donald Eugene Webb drove back from Pennsylvania after allegedly shooting Saxonburg Police Chief Gregory Adams, they found the car's carpet soaked in blood. The long held belief. Webb may have been shot in the struggle. But what we didn't realize until this investigation really unfolded in the last few weeks is the hero that Chief Adams actually was. Butler County, Pennsylvania District Attorney Richard Goldinger now says they believe Adams was able to shatter Webb's leg and severely tear his lip. Donald Webb, uh, because of this, lived in seclusion for the remainder of his life in permanent pain with permanent disfigurement. So. If there was any justice in 37 years, Chief Adams actually delivered the justice himself. Donald Eugene Webb's body was unearthed behind this North Dartmouth home last week. His wife telling authorities she buried her husband after he suffered a fatal stroke. The FBI says that was in 1999. Goldinger says Lillian Webb was given immunity from state prosecution for the information, but not federal. We gave her immunity from nothing because we couldn't charge her with anything. I reached out to the U.S. attorney in Massachusetts to find out if they are exploring a potential criminal case against Lillian Webb. A spokesperson declined to comment. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.